Now let's be honest, boys and girls. I'm bored. So, I thought it'd be cool to make another uh, video on a pickup that I got on Christmas. Now, um, if you saw my last video, which I heavily recommend checking out, you saw that I got a pair of Maison Martin Margiela replica lows in the paint splattered colorway. Ooh, cool shit. Um, and I've been on a Maison Margiela uh, hype recently because the quality is good. Nine times out of ten, the prices are right, and um, I really enjoyed the silhouettes that they bring to the table. And with this next pickup, that idea doesn't cease. So what I've got going on here is I've got the peach chukka boot in the washed leather material, or the washed leather chukka boots in the peach colorway. Probably a better way of putting it. Uh, this is a really, really nice shoe. Um, I don't really wear boots that often, but when I do, they're chukka boots. Um, I'm not super in uh, Chelsea boots, and I'm not really in the, like, any like significant like the Wyatt's like I think they're really cool but I just don't I can't see me pulling them off but chukka boots are where it's at for me and I ended up getting these for like a super nice price um yeah let's get into some of the details uh the shoe comes like this it it comes like this it's supposed to look like a washed out looking leather material but it does not cease in quality whatsoever at all throughout the entire shoe. I got these used off of Grailed. I got a lot of my stuff off Grailed, but um, I uh, did not see any type of wear or tear when I got these besides the one thing that I will, the, besides the one thing that I will get into in just a second, but over the entire uh, details, the entire body is made out of this uh, nice, like incredibly buttery smooth washed leather material. There's distressing in the toe box to look like, oh wow, the lighting is just amazing. Um, let's see if I can focus it. The toe box, yeah, there we go. The toe box has this artificial distressing on it, like you've been um, like dragging it up some uh, stairs or something like along, along those lines. The entire uh, midsole has this orangish dirt tinge to it, like it's burned. It's all this sort of uh, look to it. It's extremely interesting to look at, just kind of up close, but it's got that really nice worn-in look to it. Um, it's got this uh, dusty appeal uh, appearance to it, and it's got a nice um, like kind of wrinkling going on along the uh, toe box, as you can see from a little bit of the bend, as well as um, just kind of up everywhere. Um, I, men I did mention it in my last video, but both um, the Margellas and uh, these, um, all Margella shoes have a stitch mark on the back of the heel. Uh, it's, the stitch mark is their signature, so it's kind of how it goes. But yes, it's this entire... Um, the entire upper is this nice washed leather uh, peached colorway uh, upper. Really, really nice. Um, the uh, sole, let's talk about the sole for a little bit. The sole is this extremely soft um, material that is pretty nice and comfy to walk around on. I really enjoy like, I, I really enjoy walking around on it, but because it is soft, it really wears easily. So the one thing that I will say that was um, a little bit uh, crummy when I did get the shoes because the quality is just not good there is that the uh, there's some serious heel bite going on as you can see from here it wasn't nearly this high when I got it It was probably a little bit lower but um, because this uh, sole is super soft it really wears thin pretty easily so be aware of that when you decide to pick up a pair of these shoes if they pop up somewhere for you um, I don't think you can um, buy these uh, for retail anymore um, and I think retail was right around 400 or so and um, the, the sole wasn't doing that on retail, obviously. But, uh, yeah, um, if you find these shoes, just be aware that the sole is very soft. So just keep that in mind. The entire inner is um, a lambskin material. Very, very super um, soft. Very similar to the um, replicas uh, on the inside. Very nice. Uh, a nice little waxed lace uh, for the um, upper. It's easy to kind of interchange and all that whatnot. And then the entire inside is that same sort of buttery leather um, insole, and it has Maison Martin Margiela imprinted all over the entire sole. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it necessarily, 
but it is Maison Martin Margiela all throughout the inside. And then the only other branding on the shoe is um, right there on the insole, the 22 circled for the footwear line, made in Italy, and I got them in a size 42. Um, Chaka boots and boots in general typically run a little bit bigger in terms of size. Um, so I ended up, uh, these these are a little bit big on me, but um, because the sole, um, the uh, this mid portion of the shoe, as you can see here, is really thin, so it really grasps around the um, middle portion of my foot, which is very nice, and I've got a good amount of toe room up in the um, top, so I really don't mind it. It kind of gives this neat authoritative look when you wear the shoes, so I really enjoy that, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it even though they're a little bit big, but I really enjoy the shoe because of that. Um, so here we've got them both together. Uh, the peached, uh, the peached, the peach washed leather chukka boots from Maison Martin Margiela. Um, try and find these for a steal. Uh, they're very, very nice quality chukka boots. Very nice distressed look to them. Very much enjoy them. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay stylish as always.